All right, everybody, welcome back for another deep dive. You ready to jump into some commercial real estate? Always. I love it. Well, today we're looking at some uh, potential opportunities in Texas. Ooh, Texas. Yeah, and for this one, we're using the Eureka Business Group newsletter. Okay. Um, and this one is hot off the press, dated November 9th, 2024. Very recent. Yeah, so, you know, we always like to grab the most upstate information we can for you guys, so. Absolutely. Yeah, and what's interesting about this particular week is that uh, it's not just any old week in the market. Right. Um, you know, there's some things going on. Yeah, so the newsletter starts off by actually mentioning an increase in available properties this week. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, and I think it's possibly tied to all of the good economic news that we've been having lately. Yeah, it seems like things are finally turning around. Yeah, I mean, the elections are over. Finally, the Fed just lowered rates. The stock market is up. People are feeling good. Maybe some folks are feeling confident and ready to make some moves. That makes sense. So let's break it down. Starting with properties under $2 million. Okay. Eureka calls these bite-sized investments. Bite-sized, I like that. Yeah. You know, it's a good way to get your feet wet in the market without having to, you know, right. shell out a ton of money. Yeah. So the first one that they highlight is a 1,346 square foot office building. Okay. Um, and it's right in downtown Koppel. I was going to say location, location, location. Well, and that's exactly what they point out. You know, Koppel is a very affluent area. Yes, very much so. And this is in the walkable downtown area with all the shops and restaurants. Yeah, so you can imagine like a small business owner wanting that kind of charming, accessible vibe for their office space. Oh, well. You know, steady tenant potential right there. Yep, absolutely. So moving on from there, we have a 1,581 square foot property. Okay. And this one is in Old Town Frisco. Okay. Um, and it has flexible zoning. Ooh. Now, for our listeners who aren't, you know, real estate pros, what does that mean? Yeah. So basically, flexible zoning means that you've got options. You know, you're not locked into one specific use for the property. Okay, so it could be retail, it could be office, it could be exactly multifamily. Yeah, so for example, you know, say Frisco's booming population is driving a demand for co-working spaces. Right. You could convert it into a co-working space and boom, you're riding the trend. You're on top of it. Yeah, or maybe a boutique retail store fits the vibe better. That area's got a great vibe. Yeah, so the point is that flexibility adds value for an investor because it gives them more options. For sure. So you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. Exactly. Then we have a medical office space in Crowley. This yeah. one is 3,500 square feet. Okay. Um, and it's a rare find because the seller might do a sale lease back. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so for those who don't know, a sale lease back means that the seller agrees to lease the property back from the buyer after the sale is complete. So they stay on as a tenant. Exactly. Gotcha. So that's attractive to a lot of buyers because it means they've got immediate reliable income. Right. You know, they don't have to go out and find a tenant right away. Absolutely. Makes things so much easier. Yeah. And Eureka specifically mentioned this one being a good fit for owner users who want to apply for an SBA loan. Oh, okay. So that's another perk for the right buyer. Definitely. Yeah. Now for something completely different. Yeah. We've got a 3.18 acre property. Okay. And this one is for outside storage. Outside storage. Interesting. Yeah. And it's right on I-45 frontage. Ooh, great visibility. Right. And it's already got a good tenant in place. Okay. So it's already producing income. Exactly. And what's interesting about this one is it's surrounded by all those giant retail warehouses. Oh, right near the big boxes? Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, where there's tons of retail, there's often a need for storage. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, for businesses that need extra space. Exactly. Or even residents who need to store, you know, extra belongings. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. So let's level up a little bit to the two to five million dollar range. All right. Stepping it up. Yeah. And in this range, Eureka lists a fully sprinkled 11,873 square foot flex building. Fully sprinkled. So that means it's got fire sprinklers throughout. Exactly. Which okay. is a safety feature that a lot of tenants require. Right. Um, and this one has a single credit level tenant with built in rent increases each year. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so it sounds like a very solid, low-hassle investment. Yeah, you're not chasing multiple tenants. Right. And that credit-worthy tenant, you know, likely means consistent income. Exactly. Then there's a 10,029-square-foot property. Okay. Um, and this one is leased to the Texas government. Ooh, government leases. <laughs> Those are known for stability. Yeah. I like it. And this one has a bonus. It was renovated in 2021 to the tune of $1.8 million. Oh, Wow. So you're not just buying a building, you're buying a recently updated asset. 
Very nice. No. Now let's talk retail. Yes. Retail Eureka highlights two fully occupied retail centers. Okay. Cash flow machines, mm. when done right. Exactly. So the first one is 6,560 square feet. Okay. It was built in 2019 and has NNN leases. NNN leases. Yeah. So for our listeners who are not familiar with that term. Break it down for us. NNN leases mean that the tenants are responsible for paying most of the property expenses. Oh, so that really simplifies things for the owner. Exactly. Nice. So it makes it a very hands-off investment. Low maintenance. Yep. The second retail center is 8,251 square feet. Okay. Um, and this one's right in the heart of Dallas. Nice. Surrounded by apartments. Think of all those potential customers. Yeah. Yeah. Right on your doorstep. Yeah. But, you know, not all investors are looking for those stabilized assets. Right. Some people like to add value. Exactly. Some people like to get their hands dirty. Roll up their sleeves. Yeah. So for those investors, Eureka has included some fixer uppers. Okay. What do we got? So they mentioned a 36,000 square foot flex complex right. that's newly constructed. Okay. Um, so you could lease up the existing space. Right. And even build more on the land. Oh, so there's potential for expansion. Exactly. Gotcha. Then there's a 23,853 square foot retail center that's only 60% occupied. Ooh. But it has extra land that's ripe for expansion. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, so there's definitely some potential there. Sounds like a good value add opportunity. <laughs> exactly. Now, for those who want a more hands-off approach, right. there are two turnkey properties that Eureka highlights. Turnkey. Okay, tell me more. So the first one is a 15,952 square foot retail center. Okay. It was built in 2021. Brand new. Um, it's 100% occupied with NNN leases and annual rent increases. Oh, that's great. Low maintenance and built-in growth. Yeah. So that's pretty ideal. Sounds pretty ideal. Um, and then the second turnkey property is almost identical. Okay. It's 11,862 square feet. Okay. Um, also built in 2021. Okay. 100% occupied. All right. But it's located in a market that's rapidly expanding. Oh. So even more potential for growth. Exactly. And to wrap up this category, okay. we have a 19,141 square foot retail center. In a fantastic affluent location. Right. Um, and get this, over 38,000 vehicles pass by this property every single day. Wow. That's a lot of eyeballs. Yeah. So that kind of visibility can be a real game changer for attracting tenants and customers. Absolutely. You know, it's all about location, visibility, and access. Exactly. And these properties seem to hit those marks. Yeah. Are we ready to move into the f 5 to $10 million range? You're going on. All right, let's do it. Okay, so in this range, Eureka features a 126,864 square foot retail center. Wow, that's a big one. It is. It's 89% occupied, so it's a value-add opportunity. Okay. Because you've got some leasing to do, but it sits on a hard corner with high traffic counts. Okay, so prime real estate. Yeah, prime real estate. And filling that remaining space could really boost the income. Right. Plus, a bigger center like this often means more diverse tenants. Right. Which spreads the risk a bit. Exactly. Now, the newsletter teases even larger properties, over $10 million. Oh, even bigger. Yeah, but they're keeping those details for their podcast. Yeah, which makes you wonder, yeah, you know what those big players are snapping up. It does. You know what though? Let's uh, let's step back for a second because okay. we've gone through a lot of properties. Yeah, we have. But what I find interesting is that Eureka included both stabilized assets, you know, those low maintenance income generating types, right, and those fixer uppers with room for improvement. That's a good point. Yeah, it shows that there's opportunity in Texas for different investor profiles. Totally. Whether you're after, you know, steady cash flow right. or you want to roll up your sleeves and add value. It's like they're saying, come on down to Texas. We've yeah. got something for everyone. Exactly. Right. And remember, this is just a snapshot. Right. You know, they encourage reaching out to them for more information. Okay. They specifically say, want to get information about any of these properties or others. Uh -huh. Call or text Joseph at 903-600-0616. Okay. Or email at Joseph at ebdtx.com. You got it. Yeah. So, you know, there could be even more off-market deals that they're not putting in the newsletter. Right. Who knows? You never know what gems they have tucked away until you ask. Absolutely. So before we get too carried away daydreaming about Texas-sized profits. I know, right. Let's try to sum up what we've learned. Okay. What stands out to you? Well, I think for me, it's the sheer variety. Yes. You know, we've seen small office spaces that are perfect for a single tenant right storage facilities catering to a specific need mm -hmm. and then these massive retail centers that almost act like mini economies within themselves right 
it shows that the Texas commercial real estate market is multifaceted. For sure. With opportunities at different levels. It is. Yeah. It's like a buffet of investment choices. It is. And as we were discussing earlier, that variety caters to different strategies and risk appetites. Right. Some investors might be comfortable with a fixer-upper that needs work, but offers potentially higher returns. Right. While others prefer a turnkey property that's already generating income. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Eureka highlights both stabilized and value-add properties suggests that there's potential for both income and capital appreciation. Right. That's a good point. You know, you could buy a stabilized property for steady cash flow and look for another with upside potential for growth. Yeah, and let's not forget that backdrop of good economic news. Right. You know, elections are done, rates are down, and the stock market's up. Yeah. It creates this sense of optimism and momentum that could be driving more activity in the real estate market. That's a key takeaway. Yeah. It seems like Texas is riding a wave of positive economic trends, uh -huh. making it an attractive place for investors right now. Absolutely. But of course, due diligence is crucial. Always. You'd want to look deeper into each property, yeah, understand no. the local market, yeah. consider things like tenant mix lease terms and potential for growth. Yeah, all that good stuff. Couldn't agree more. Knowledge is power. Absolutely. Especially in real estate. It really is. And even though we're focused on Texas today, <laughs> these broader trends are likely playing out in other markets as well. That's true. So if you're listening from California, New York, or anywhere else, take note. Absolutely. The principles of sound investing apply everywhere. Exactly. What works in Texas might have parallels in your local market. Right. The key is to stay informed and be ready to adapt. So I think we've squeezed every last drop of insight out of this Eureka Business Group newsletter. I think so. But before we wrap things up, I have one final thought-provoking question for our listeners. Given all this positive economic buzz and the variety of properties available in Texas, what type of commercial real estate investment might be a good fit for you right now? Hmm. That's the question, isn't it? It is. What we've explored today is really just a starting point. Right. Now, it's up to you to consider your own goals and resources. Yeah. Are you yeah. looking for quick returns or something more long term? Right. Do you have the time and energy for a hands on project? Yeah. Or do you want something that practically runs itself? Yeah. We've given you the lay of the land. That's exactly. But the exciting part is how you apply this knowledge to your own situation. Absolutely. Maybe those turnkey retail centers with NNN leases pique your interest. Yeah. If you're all about that passive income. Right. Or perhaps those value add opportunities spark your entrepreneurial spirit. You never know. Yeah. Remember, there's no one size fits all in real estate. Oh, absolutely not. What works for your neighbor might not be the right fit for you. Right. That's why it's so crucial to do your homework, uh -huh. understand your risk tolerance. Yeah. And maybe even consult with experts. Right. Like the folks at Eureka Business Group. Yeah, they seem to know their stuff. Yeah, they definitely seem to. Their contact info is 903-600-0616 or joseph at ebbygtx.com. You got it. Yeah. So they clearly know the Texas market well. They do. And they can probably answer any questions you might have right. about specific properties or even just navigating the process in general. Mm. So as we wrap up this deep dive into Texas commercial real estate. Yes. Remember, opportunity is out there. It is. And Texas seems to be buzzing with it right now. Yeah, but it's not just about being in the right place at the right time. Right. It's about being informed. Absolutely. Doing your due diligence. Yes. And then being bold enough to take action when you find that perfect opportunity. Happy investing, everyone. See ya.